Okay, so before I begin this video, I do want to state a disclaimer. I am not a developer. This is my attempt to distill and dilute all the technicalities out there and create this video for the layman, like me. Uh, so anyone can understand what SegWit is and hopefully I will be successful in this. But first I do want to state, I just want to thank everybody out there who's helped me through this process of understanding segregated witness and understanding their proposal to scale Bitcoin. So specifically for this video, we're talking about Bitcoin and the proposal from Bitcoin Core to scale Bitcoin through their segre segregated witness protocol. So first of all, let's talk about how a Bitcoin blockchain transaction works right now. So there should be an image right here popping up to my left. In every Bitcoin blockchain uh, transaction, you have one block that is one megabyte, okay? So there's one block, that's one megabyte. Now within that block, you have all these different layers of data. For the sake of this video and trying to keep things simple, I'm gonna be talking about just two inputs over there or two, two different data layers. You have the header and then you have the transaction. Now in the header, you have a bunch of information and in the transaction, you have a bunch of information. Now within the transaction is something really important. Within every transaction, obviously you have inputs and outputs, but you also have something called a script. Would you like, we'll just call it code. Within the script, you have your signature that represents you and you have your public key. All of this is necessary to confirm that it's a legitimate transaction. So that's how the system works right now. But the issue is because the script is, is very heavy in weight, so data weight, it, it is clogging down each block and it's the one megabyte blocks are getting full and therefore the network is being bogged down. So that's the issue right now, that's a scaling issue, is the blocks either need to be bigger or a different solution needs to be implemented. Hence SegWit is a different solution as opposed to a hard fork. So let's just go through this picture. So if you're looking at this second picture, this is how a transaction will look right now. Mike wants to send it to James and within the block, it is Mike's signature to James with all the script information in there and then James accepts it finally, okay? Now this is segregated witness proposal to speed up the Bitcoin protocol and also to scale the Bitcoin protocol. As I mentioned, in a regular blockchain transaction, the Bitcoin blockchain transaction, you have one block that's a megabyte and in that transaction you have the script that has a signature and a public key. Now SegWit's proposal is they want to scrape that script from the transaction and put it to a different block called an extended block. So basically what this does is it reduces the size of a block, hence making it more lighter, making it faster, and uh, creating a better uh, platform to scale Bitcoin. So if Mike wants to send James a Bitcoin, traditionally it would be a signature to James, but in this case, the signature is actually empty. So the only information in the header, the only information going into that original block is just the receiver's uh, information, which is James. So how this works is one block just has the information of James and then there's gonna be an extended block which has just the script. So that includes a signature of Mike and the public key of Mike. And through this system, in layman's term, pretty much what happens over here is they're just making the block itself less full. They're having more optionality to scale the system faster, to confirm the transactions faster, and to lower the transaction fees. So that's SegWit in a nutshell. So if I had to summarize what it is, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to distill this as simplistic as possible is, and let me go back to the original over here, right? If we're looking at the original image over here, every transaction, has a script and in the script you have a signature and a public key and that takes up a lot of data within that one block. So that data, like I said, is clogging down the whole network. So what segregated witness wants to do, rips it out, okay, so we'll go to this next image. It rips it out. So now when Mike wants to send a Bitcoin to James, instead of one block that has all the information, you're going to have one block plus a small extended block that holds the script. So this, like I said earlier, what this does is it reduces the file size of the original block and also it creates more optionalities to have transactions faster, cheaper, and scale Bitcoin. So I hope you enjoyed this video of what Segregated Witness is. If I've made any huge, awful mistakes, please let me know in the comments below. Like I said, this video is for non-technical people. And like always, if you want me to make any other videos, leave a comment below this video and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.